The Hornets finally end their losing streak and it's a vibe in the locker room. Everybody's turned, having a good time. Then the fans that missed the game check the box score. What, 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 eight, eight minutes? What, what, what's going on? My DM was full, so let's rewind it. Oops, wrong play. My bad. This is where Mason Plumley thought he was the point guard of the Charlotte Hornets. Let me get these clips right. What I'm trying to get to are these fouls that LaMelo accumulated. Here we go. Here we go. Darius Garland has not played since the all. Shot clock's down to two. Oh, and Markin in got bailed out. That's the second foul on LaMelo. Olympic team, he's come here and proven everybody wrong. My phone's blowing up right now. All the good to put up 127 points on 54% shooting. And now the Hornets are doing similar work tonight. Offensive foul on LaMelo Ball. Dale, that's now four fouls on LaMelo. He was in foul trouble from the beginning of the game. That's why he had eight minutes and only two points. Well, we might as well treat him like they do Leangelo. You only got two points in eight minutes, you're trash. That's really how they do Leangelo Ball. But back to Melo. It's understandable that you would bench him when he's in foul trouble. I mean, like, duh. But at the same time, your team only has one all-star. It's LaMelo Ball, and he should be able to foul out of games. Why not let him play the fourth quarter? He had two fouls left to go and get out there with the other starters. You got to start showing a little more faith in him. But you tell me how you feel in the comment section, guys. Now let's get to Isaiah Thomas' first game on the Hornets. He's an example of why I don't like franchises. I like players. You see how the Celtics did him? They did him dirty. But we got to talk about he just came from the Lakers. He had an explosive first game, 19 points. Why did the Lakers give him a try? They were losing games and he was going crazy in the G League. That's the same reason the Hornets gave him a try. They've been losing games and he just beat up on the swarm. Lakers probably should have never got rid of him. Anyway, I wish Leangelo got the opportunity that he got in the G League, you know, minutes and such, touches and such. I wonder how James Booknight feels about Isaiah Thomas coming up. A lot of things going on in this franchise. Very interesting time for the Hornets. And we love LaMelo's defensive instincts, but in this game, he was just a bit too aggressive and it cost him in the end. But he's young, he has time to grow and work on this defense. Now, offensively, he didn't quite have it going, but I feel like the fouls kind of got him out of his rhythm. Don't be alarmed about LaMelo missing shots. Like, it happens, and just as quick as he can miss the easiest shots, he can make the most difficult shots. And even though he was 0 for 3 from the field, he ended up with two points off of a foul. He made his free throw shots, which was a good thing. But whether it's the foul sitting him down or the coach leaving him on the bench too long, it's not going to be good for his game because LaMelo Ball is a rhythm player. When he gets into his rhythm, that's when he goes in. At the end of the day, though, the W is what counts, and that's what they got. So frustrating with the fouls, but celebratory dances with the wins. Hey, Isaiah, welcome to the team. Sam with Hornets.com. Um, just kind of a two-part question leading off. What's your reaction to joining the Hornets? How do you think you're going to fit in? And also, what's it like for you to be back with uh, Terry Rozier, who you played with in Boston? Um, I mean, I'm excited about the opportunity. I feel like, you know, I can help leadership-wise. And, you know, if my name gets called, I'm, I'm, I'm more than prepared to, to take advantage of the opportunity. But at the same time, I'm just here to help any way I can. Um, bet, better in leadership, try to, you know, I've been through a lot, so I've, I've experienced a lot. So I think, you know, that can help with the younger guys on this team. And then to answer the question about Terry, Terry's one of my close friends. Um, it's crazy because I actually hit him up the other day about, you know, the possibility. So I got to give him a shout out and also Gordon Hayward, somebody I recruited to Boston and someone, you know, I'm, I'm good friends with as well. And so I'm excited about being here. And, you know, hopefully I could bring some 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 positive energy to the to the team. Thank you, Isaiah. All right. Now that I can actually hear you guys, Christos, go ahead. Hey, hello, Isaiah. Christos from us in English. Hope you're doing well. Uh, my question to you is, what would you like to prove in this uh, chapter of your career, Hornets? What would you like to prove on the floor? and how you vision yourself playing alongside uh, LaMelo Ball, Miles Bridges, and the other young guys in the team? Um, I mean, at this point in my career, I don't think I have anything to prove. I've, I've showed people that I'm healthy, which is most important. 
And it's all about just getting the opportunity. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm here to help in any way possible. Um, I'm here to, you know, give my experiences and my, my leadership to guys like Mello, guys like Terry, which was my rookie when I was in Boston, um, and also all the other younger guys on this team. Um, and, you know, just try to bring some new energy to the team as, you know, the team has been struggling just a little bit. Um, and then just do anything I possibly can to, to, to bring some positive light to the situation. And then obviously if my name is called, you know, take full advantage of the opportunity. Thank you very much. Rod, go ahead. Hey, Isaiah, Rod, we here with Charlotte Observer. Um, you mentioned having Terry and Gordon as guys you, you know, were with in Boston. Just how do you think that will help you transition-wise to kind of come to a new team with, what, two months left in the season? Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's basketball. We've played this game for a long time. I think the coaching staff, you know, if my name is called, they'll probably make it as easy as possible for me to, you know, fit in. And, you know, my job is just to be who I am, um, be a professional, be a leader, first and foremost. And then, you know, if my name is called, put some, put the ball in the basket and make some plays. So um, I'm excited about the opportunity. I'm excited about, you know, playing with guys that I've, I'm familiar with. Um, Mason Pumley's also, you know, Plumley's also another guy that I played in Denver with. So I got a relationship with him as well. And, you know, just try to get as many wins as possible while I'm, while I'm here. And then you mentioned uh, if your name is called, what has the staff told you at all, if anything, about just what they expect from you and just um, what if you will get in the game at all at any point tonight or coming up the next couple of games here? Um, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. I just got here. Um, I just met the guys this morning. We just had shoot around. So, you know, I, I have no expectations. My expectation is just to make a positive impact on the organization, you know, whether I play or whether I don't. And I've, I've been able to make positive impacts on organizations if I'm in the game or if I'm not. So it really doesn't matter if I play or not. I'm here to, you know, be a positive influence to these guys and, and hopefully, you know, turn turn the ship around a little bit. But if my name is called, you know, I've been pre preparing for these moments. So I'm, I'm more than prepared and more than ready to take advantage. And then just last thing is obviously the mellow ball being here, he's a future of the franchise and everything. What do you know about his game and what do you think you can kind of help um, him learn as a veteran point guard who's been in the league for a while? Um, I mean, he's special. He's going to take over this league really soon. He's somebody that is a special talent, a special energy. Um, got good energy about him. And the only thing I can do is, you know, tell him about my experiences, um, you know, 11 years in the league, being a franchise player before, being a guy, you know, that's been in every situation. I think the only thing I can do is help him. You know, he, he hasn't seen everything yet, but he's also, you know, has had tremendous success early on in his career. But, you know, I can help him on and off the court in so many ways that, you know, I just can't explain right now. Obviously, tonight when, I, when, when I'm on the bench and seeing the guys play, you know, I'm, I'm going to just help any way I can and, you know, make the game slow down for him and, you know, try to just be a helping hand and be in his ear as much as I can.